Welcome to NAB Show 2024. The preeminent event for the entire media and broadcast industry. Right here in Las Vegas. Ashley within broadcast, joining me is Andrew of Magnica. Hello. Hello, how are you doing? I'm doing good, good to see you. So can you tell me what is Magnica's current position right now in the media and broadcasting market? Well, we're a technology provider. We enable software and hardware developers to bring open standards 702110 and IPMX into their products for the rest of the industry, so yeah. And what trends are you seeing as far as your technology in the media and broadcasting well, industry? Yeah, well thankfully we're seeing a lot more SEMPTE 2110 and IPMX interest and adoption. So um, we've, we've seen SEMPTE 2110 kind of go from that early stage where people that were looking to be you know, early innovators were willing to go through the hard knocks and all the, that kind of stuff now, and, and now we're well past that. Now we're seeing SEMPTE 2110 being adopted by um, you know, people not only doing broadcasts, but also doing just live production outside of broadcasts, kind of lower end stuff and all that. So, yeah, we're seeing a lot more, a uh, lot more interest in adoption of Sempty 2110. Good. And what are you showcasing here currently at NAB? Well, I happen to have this beautiful ME P100. Yeah, it's a it. it's a hundred gig smart NIC card, and it can take in 32 um, streams of SMPTE 2110, and it can output uh, 32 streams of SMPTE 2110 uh, at the same time. So it's a super low latency, very high performance uh, smart NIC, and it also includes onboard JPEG access compression. So it can do um, SMPTE 2110-22, which is the the compressed standard and also Dash 20. So it's a, a very a very powerful card, great for uh, top of rack infrastructure, um, uh, uh, traffic, and also for you know broadcast production as well. Very yeah. nice. And any other pr uh, products you're highlighting or any latest developments you wanted to speak on? Well, I think you know along with the MEP 100, it's a great smart NIC card. But if that's all it was, it wouldn't you know wouldn't be the full story. We also have a very powerful software SDK called. M2S, and what's cool about M2S is in in the industry now, you know, we're seeing a lot of uh, movement into cloud infrastructure, computer infrastructure. So maybe the MEP100 isn't the best for every single application, and that's where the M2S SDK, which actually comes with the MEP100, but it also works with other NIC cards, including like NVIDIA's ConnectX and um, and also just generic NIC cards as well. So in in our booth, we're actually showing um, our M2S. SDK working on a laptop, so we're receiving and sending content just on a standard laptop, but we're also working on the MEP100. So what that means for our customers is that no matter where their products take them, you know, we're completely platform agnostic, whether it's software or hardware or in the cloud or on-premise, you can use one SDK to enable your applications to uh, take advantage of SD2110. Right, very nice. Yeah. Uh, and can you speak any bit about what we might expect from Magnica in the near future? Well, I think you know we're we're really into uh, enabling open standards, right? And as as we you know look at more platforms on Windows and Linux and IPMX's future, you know that's that's really where where we're very interested in in you know kind of imagining and enabling those new workflows. And I think especially with IPMX is that. Um, goes from being kind of you know in the works in, into being deployed and I think that's going to happen with maybe even in the next you know year to 18 months or so I think we're going to see a lot more interest from a lot more customers that are looking for you know open standard solutions that are much easier to deploy and to and to use Definitely. yeah well, for more information please check out their website and thank you so much for speaking with us today Ooh, thank you thank you